Good morning children. We are dealing with the topic heat. In the last video we learnt about the different scales for temperature. Today in this video we are going to learn about the effects of heat. Effects of heat. When heat is supplied to an object it can have one or more of the following effects. First one it raises the temperature of the object that is makes it hotter second one it increases the size of the object that is makes it expand third one it changes the state of the object from solid to liquid and then to gas let us study these effects in detail first one rise in temperature when heat is applied to an object its temperature rises Different materials require different amounts of heat for a rise in temperature of 1 degree Celsius. Conversely, when an object gives out heat to the surroundings, its temperature decreases. Second one, increase in size. When an object is heated, its molecules absorb heat energy. This makes them vibrate faster. Consequently, the object enlarges to the extent it can. The increase in size of an object or substance on supplying heat is called thermal expansion. Gases expand the most on heating, followed by liquids and solids in that order. The extent of expansion depends on the original size and the amount of heat supplied. It also varies from material to material. When object cool down they contract or shrink in size now let us learn some of the applications and phenomena related to thermal expansion of solids electric and telephone cable cables fixed between poles expand due to heat during the daytime and sag more the cables contract and sag less during the night when they cool down Hence, cables are not pulled too tight when they are fixed to allow for contraction. In steel bridges, the girders are fixed at one end and are placed on rollers at the other end to allow for expansion and contraction due to variations in temperature. The wooden wheels of a bullock cart are fitted with iron rims. To ensure a tight fit, the tire is made slightly smaller in diameter than the wheel. The iron rim is first heated due to which it expands. The heated rim is then fitted on the wheel. When the rim cools, it contracts and makes a tight fit on the wheel. A cement floor is not laid out in one piece because it would crack due to expansion in summer and contraction in winter. On the other hand, the floor is slate in small pieces with gaps in between to allow for the expansion during summer. A bimetallic strip is a pair of brass and iron strips fixed together tightly. As brass expands more than iron for the same application of heat, the bimetallic strip bends towards the iron side on heating and straightens on cooling. It is used in thermostats in appliances such as clothes irons, water heaters and toaster, toasters to keep the temperature at the required level. In railway tracks, a small gap is left between two successive lengths of rail to allow for expansion on hot days. If there is no gap, the expansion may cause the rails to bend leading to the derailment of trains. Thermal expansion in liquids. Like solids, liquids also expand on heating. Liquids expand much more than solids when heated. The anomalous expansion of water. Water behaves in a different way from most other materials when cooled. Water on heating from 0 degree Celsius to 4 degree Celsius contracts and then on further heating it expands. Because of this, ice is less dense than liquid water and floats on it. 
Thermal expansion of gases. Gases also expand when they are heated. Gases expand much more than liquids and solids. Like liquids, gases do not have a definite shape, so they have only the cubical expansion. The third effect of heat is change in state of the body. Matter exists in three different states, solid, liquid and gas. The process of change from one state to another at, con at a constant temperature is called change of state. When a solid is heated, it changes into its liquid at a fixed temperature. This process is called melting or fusion. The reverse happens when a liquid is cooled. This process is called freezing. When a liquid is heated, it changes into its vapor at a fixed temperature. This process is called vaporization or boiling. The reverse happens when vapor is cooled. This process is called condensation. When a solid on heating changes directly into vapor at a fixed temperature, the process is called sublimation. Similarly, the change directly from vapor to solid at a fixed temperature is called deposition. The change of state from liquid to gas at all temperatures is called evaporation. During change of state at a fixed temperature, heat is either absorbed or rejected. But this heat does not change the temperature of the substance. It is called the latent heat. So these are the three effects of heat. We will continue in the next class. Thank you children and have a nice day.